Yeah, I mean, I was, I think more than anything, I was just sick that last drive. I missed that touchdown throw. Um, that would have gave us a chance to make it where they had to score a touchdown, um, put our defense in a bad situation. And um, I thought our defense stepped up in that second half and did a great job. And so um, I was just happy, man. I was happy that we ended with that block and Leo got through there. And it was um, um, just joy after that. I know you never give up, but what, what is the mindset as that play is happening? I mean, you're probably pretty worried, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, you definitely are. This is a low percentage for a block, but I mean, if anyone's going to do it, I mean, Tobe um, and his team's going to have a, play, a design rush or design way to get to the to get in the hand on it. So it was um, um, obviously I'm, I, you're obviously worried because out of your control, but at the same time, I've trusted my teammates. They're going to go out there and make a play. Uh, say it one more time. Oh uh, no, yeah, no, he's dude. He's extremely strong. Uh, extremely strong. I mean, he's um, he's like the strength of a D lineman, but he plays linebacker position. Um, I mean, you don't want to be at that guy when he's working out. Um, we we call him John Cena. Um, so he, he's a uh, he's a guy that gets after, him. we've used him on offense because the way he's able to use his speed and athleticism with that power, and um, he did it in the Super Bowl and he did it again uh, today. Offensively, does it feel like a win? Yeah, I mean, they all feel like wins. I've learned that um, that the, any way you win is good in this league. Um, obviously, there's stuff to learn from. I thought we did good things in good spots. Um, I missed the – I mean, if I th made the touchdown throw to Trav and I made the touchdown throw to, to Worthy, it, I mean, we're, we're probably in a, a different situation. So just um, got to execute in the red zone when you're playing a good defense. And if you make those two throws, we're not relying on the, the, the block by Leo. Right. This uh, game was similar uh, on offense to the two against Broncos last year. What is it about the yeah, I mean, they play, they play extremely hard. They're well coached. Um, they do a good job of mixing coverages. Um, and then they make you execute throughout the entire field. I mean, like I just said, like we had we had chances. Um, you had that. You had the one down the sideline, the word that I throw out of bounds. I mean, there's chances, but if you don't hit them, um, the drive stall out because they continue to play hard. Um, and so you gotta you got to execute and have to execute on those chances in order to beat a good football team. Um, we didn't do that today, and we, we got lucky and found a way to get the win in the end anyways. Is there something that I'd like to thank the fans for the support. They they stayed and uh, a great show by uh, the, our special teams put on there at the end. Um, up to that point, I, I thought you know my, my hat goes off to Denver for the job that they did. Uh, I thought defensively, offensively, they they, they were strong, and um, you know it ended up being one of those kind of games uh, back and forth and. Um, you know, they they arguably take it down for the, the winning kick, and then Leo steps up and does what Leo does every week. Somewhere he makes a play, defensively, special teams. Somewhere he steps up and makes a play, and he did a great job with that. Um, other than that, I, I'm gonna give credit to Nazi because Nazi never gets any credit. So uh, for leading the team in tackles, uh, he did a did a nice job there, um, and then. Offensively, Kels uh, had a, a big day, um, again, with uh, seven receptions for 58 yards, and then he tied, I, I believe, Tony um, for most catches in team history. So, or touchdown, something, a touchdown for him, too. So, um, all good there. Uh, lots of room to improve. Uh, we've got a, uh, you know, a good team that we're, we're going to play this next weekend here, so we've got to get ourselves ready, learn from the mistakes from today, and, uh, and move on. But I'm proud of our guys for battling. I told you that during, during training camp. They, they've got big hearts, and you got a chance to see that today. Yeah. That time here. Andrew, you some sort of weakness in there? Two goals, two touchdowns. Yeah, so <clears throat> I get to see that every day, how we work that block and um, that last final shot there. And, um, you know, the, we did, uh, but it's also something we work on like crazy. So it's, uh, so it normally doesn't work quite like that, but that one, well, we had a couple of different guys. George was in there too, I believe. So I haven't had a chance to look at the replay of it, but it looked like we had a couple of different guys in there. Leo, uh, <coughs> yeah. What kind of, uh, ability do you have? What, what's special about Yeah, let's see, he's a great athlete. He, Big, strong kid, plays 100 miles an hour. He doesn't practice. He doesn't run games. 
plays anywhere and everywhere, never says anything. Comes from a family. He's got like 40 brothers and sisters, so he's, he's used to sharing. So he doesn't really care about who gets the credit, doesn't get the credit. He just goes. <coughs> Yeah, um, I, there's not much you can say. It's uh, the, the the game told the story, and um, you know, for it to end like that, I haven't been around a lot of those walk-off blocks. So I'm gonna enjoy it, but I'm also gonna get to work fixing the other things that we need to fix before we go to Buffalo. But you know, you enjoy every one of these um, the best you possibly can, because. It's tough in this league. The parity in this league is, is ridiculous. Oh my goodness, everybody. The wildness. Boy, they can't get a break, can they? The wildness. They had some tremendous catches in this game. Of the National Football League. As Denver thought they had Kansas City dead to rights. Denver had a game-winning field goal lined up. A 35-yard field goal. The Chiefs block it. The Chiefs win. And by... By the hair on their, the hair on Andy Reid's mustache, the Chiefs are nine and zero. They remain unbeaten. An ugly game there. Minnesota up late on Jacksonville, trying to squeak out an ugly one. 49ers and the Buccaneers. Tampa just tied that game with 41 seconds to go. Buccaneers might have overtime for the second week in a row there. Falcons and the Saints are close. Bills are blowing out the Colts. New England having their way with Caleb Williams and the Bears. And this wild one here between the Steelers and the Commanders where Pittsburgh, Jalen Warren had the ball ripped out of his hands at the one-yard line as he was about to get Pittsburgh in to take the lead. Hand off from the one. Commanders get out to the three-yard line with some breathing room. But my goodness, everybody, what games here in the NFL. Craziness all over the league, though. Craziness. Chiefs a wild finish. We're going to have a wild finish here in between the Steelers and the Commanders. My goodness. A break there for Pittsburgh. Looks like the run out to the 10-yard line is going to be called back due to a hold. But everybody, it's been an, a weird game today. Weird game today. Jalen Warren... Running the football, Russell Wilson, only 12 of 25. Let's we'll see if the Steelers can come back here. And we have a great game on Sunday night football tonight with the Lions. And the Texans, great day of football.